Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we've got a new product for you. It's from Jumper RC. It's their new T20 transmitter. First order of business, guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload content like this and all others to the channel. Picking up a transmitter is going to be one of the first things, if not the first thing, that you do when you learn to fly FPV. A lot of people recommend uh, choosing a good simulator. You can uh, practice on your computer or console and picking up a good transmitter. Today we're going to open up this one, see what's inside, and see if this may be a good choice for you. All right, this is a new one from Jumper RC. Now there are two models of this particular radio. Actually, there's four models. An Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz version, which is what I have here. There's a 900 megahertz version. And then there's two different models here. There's uh, this one, which is the Hall Sensor Effect gimbals. And then there's one with an RC90 gimbal that is actually a potentiometer. I chose the Hall Effect gimbals. Number one, the price is cheaper. And I feel like these are Hall Effect and they are adjustable, uh, as you'll see when we open up the radio here. This is Jumper's response to the Radio Master boxer radio it's the box style radio and this is uh similar in size to uh that radio and you know smaller uh games pad style radios but we'll look at it, compare those here shortly let's just uh open up the box and kind of see what we get inside here all right you got the user manual here and this is the updated version they did have a previous version that had a built-in uh, aluminum handle and uh, different gimbals, but these have the upgraded gimbals. Now these are, like I said, uh, the Hall Effect. You're gonna get some stickers here, and these are for the six position button. You'll see here in a minute, uh, you can use uh, these to kind of mark your switches there. I'm not gonna use these, but some people might. Looks like it's a QC sticker here that it passed a quality check. Good on jumper for that. You do have a lanyard. I don't use a lanyard because I am a thumber. So it says Express LRS on there. That's nice that they include that. As well as a, looks like a USB-C. It is to USB-A cable. You can use this for uh, connecting to your computer and for simulators. And uh, this one actually has internal storage and we'll talk about that here in a minute. All right. Uh, this is the star of the show, what we've been waiting for. Move that aside here. So we've got some protective covering over here. We'll remove that. And yeah, let's go ahead and go over the switches, kind of what we've got here. So we've got a three position here, as well as on this side. These are two position switches. You do have, uh, this is not a momentary, this is just a two position that clicks. It's kind of a firm click, I've noticed and one on either side. And you've got two potentiometers. Now these do have a nice detent in the center on either side. This is where I was talking about the original version had a place to mount the um, handle, the aluminum handle. I believe you can still add that. Those are available on sites like AliExpress. You can see the huge heat sink. Now this is Express LRS 2.4. Uh, this is one watt, so it's 25 milliwatts on up to one watt of power. You do have this foldable T-style antenna, and that's one of the improvements that they made from the previous version. It will rotate in that orientation. You can also use it as a handle. So that's a welcome feature there. That just tucks away in your bag, so you don't end up breaking that handle there. The uh, 900 megahertz version has the same handle, and if you have one of the older initial revisions, um, you will be able to purchase this handle separately. You have a uh, buddy box port or trainer port here. You got a USB-C. This is for charging as well as connecting uh, to your PC. And this radio doesn't have an SD card, a physical SD card. And a lot of that, a lot of us complain that SD cards are something that you know, the, the ones that are included in these radios are junk and we just have to replace them. This one actually has internal storage, uh, has a built-in ROM chip. I believe it's 512 megabytes, if I'm not mistaken. 
So things like your, your sound pack, that's gonna be stored on the internal storage. I think you have cutouts for two speakers, but I believe there's only one speaker here on the left-hand side. These are just standoffs. I guess you can mount a potentially like a monitor here. And this one has an OLED screen. I think it's about the same size as the Tango 2. The gimbals, they, are, they do have these uh, plastic add-ons, and I believe in the premium model with the RC90 gimbals, these are a chrome finish here. This is kind of this matte gray color, but it still looks nice. You do have uh, replaceable stick-ins. Now this is a one piece here. I think this is a, I believe it's an M4 screw. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to just double check here. Actually this, yeah, it's actually one piece here. So you can just twist this off here. But uh, I don't think there's a way to adjust. The height on this is this is one piece. Now you can get some uh, replaceable stick-ins here and uh, replace those out there with like a two-piece where you'll be able to tighten it down if you need to make the sticks taller. The gimbals are smooth. These aren't uh, all aluminum like the AGO ones that you're familiar with in the Radio Master series of products, but they are real smooth. You can adjust these for the travel distance here. Now, out of the box, I will have to say, I'm not a stickler for uh, you know, the full range of travel. I typically like the gamepad style radios, but this one, uh, as you see, is it's kind of limited in travel from the factory. You can loosen these up and I believe adjust the throw of your gimbals here, but that wasn't a problem for me out of the box, but it's just one, something I wanted you to notate if you were wanting the full range of the gimbals there. Now I fly mode four, which most people fly mode two, and that's gonna be throttle on your left there. You can swap these out. I believe you will have to pull the radio apart. Uh, or you may just have to, there may be a bar in here that locks for this to uh, center. You have two more potentiometers down here. These are kind of like a slider view. If you're flying like a fixed wing or you have something with flaps, that might be good for you. Uh, and then here's two more pots. These do not really have a good center detent. So uh, I would recommend using these here on the top if uh, that's what you need. You do have a nice uh, metal scroll wheel. And then you have the typical system page and back buttons here. If you need to go back a page, you can just uh, long press this one here. You're, you're, not, you're not getting page forward and page back. So let's fire this up. is running Edge TX. We'll take a look at the version here in a second. Now I've already created a couple models. It doesn't include these models out of the box. You can go ahead and go look at the settings here. And we'll page over. So it looks like we're running Edge TX, the build date of 703 of 23. This should be upgradable as well as the internal module. I think for the Express LRS version, I think it was running 2.5, if I'm not mistaken. So if you guys want, leave comments down below. I'll uh, do like a setup guide as well as a, a firmware flash and Express LRS flash for this specific transmitter. So, uh, we can check the Express LRS version here. Then we'll pull up the Lua script here. We can go down here to, yeah, we're running uh, 2.5.1. So this is running an older version here. You got all the normal uh, Express LRS uh, commands in the Lua script. So now this model does not have a backpack. So if you wanted to change channels, if you have a receiver like um, you've added one to TBS Fusion, Rapid Fire, or the HD Zero goggles has a backpacking built in, um, this will not communicate. So you will automatically be able to set with the backpack, the uh, correct VTX channel. You can add an external nano module bay. One is not included. Uh, I'll post a picture up here on the screen. I believe it uses the same one as the T-Lite and T-Pro. So, and also there is this uh, spot here. You can have so easy to remove this, yeah. All right, so here's the plug for the external module bay. 
Now, Jumper does make a four-in-one um, multi-protocol module that's specifically made for this that has uh, it's uh, machined aluminum as well uh, that just mounts to this plate, so it transfers, this transfers the heat well on that. But uh, I didn't go with that one. I already have a... Um, already have a multi-protocol module, okay? So you've got a XT30 connection here. So if you need to wire up something like a Crossfire full-size module, it should be uh, supplying 2S power to that. And this bay is kind of hard to get open here, but uh, it includes a tray that will hold up to 21700s. I do have uh, 18650s in here. You can just bend these tabs or you can use a 2S uh, battery in here as well, but this is running off 2S voltage. So, but a lot of us have 18650s that we'll use. These are not included. And that's pretty much it for the switches. It does also come with these uh, screws if you want. I don't know if these are a different tension for the gimbals. I lied, we can't forget about the six position switch that also lights up when the radio is charging here at the bottom. Let me go ahead and grab another radio to do a size comparison. I've got the iFlight Commando 8. So, as you see that the Jumper T20 is uh, a little bit taller, uh, maybe slightly wider. It's definitely heavier than the Commando 8. And then more of a full-size comparison, this is the Radio Master TX-16S. And you can see there's quite a bit of size difference here uh, for weight. And this is just a full-size radio, and this is more of the uh, box-style radio. Now, I do think you can swap maybe with some mods there. The AGO one gimbals, I believe they will fit in here. And Jumper does also offer a clear shell as well as a case, and you can purchase those separately. So what do you guys think? Is this gonna be the contender for the best radio of 2023 for FBV? Leave your thoughts down below. I'll comment back as soon as I can. Let's dive into the simulator and see how this performs. Once again, thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.